So in video CL213 we explained the use of uh, PLUs but we're now going to show you how to program the PLUs. So like with all the programming, the first thing you need to do is to turn the key round to the PRG position. Now the next thing you need to do is to press the X time button which will put it into programming mode. And here you can see it's expecting us to program PLU number one. So let's say for example on this occasion we want to program number 15, we would type in 1, 5 and then we press the PLU button. And as you can see this changes the PLU number at the top here to be 15. So the next thing we need to do is enter the price. So if this item here was 899, we would simply press 899 and then we link it to the category that we want it to go into. So financial reports at the end of the day, that PLU data will also transfer into the financial department reports. So you'll be able to report by department and by PLU. So for argument's sake, let's put it into department 13. And as you can see, it automatically jumps straight away to the next PLU, which is number 16. So if, let's say for argument's sake, we've finished this now, we can simply press the X time and that takes us back to the standard default. So I turn the key back round to the reg, and now I've got two PLUs programmed in here. I've got a number 12 and a number 15. So if I press 15 PLU, we can see the product that we've just entered, and 12 PLU, press subtotal. And as you can see, both of those items have gone into the till because they're preset into it without having to need to press any categories. As I said, it's limited use because it depends on having a very, very small product range. And once you're happy with that, it works in exactly the same way as any other sale, but the amount of money given, press cash, drawer opens and changes displays. Thank you for watching our video.